another episode of She Her Dyke. I'm Lex, Mary. Okay, and I know y'all been wondering where we've been at. So, real quick, <laughs> you know, life comes at you fast. Okay. <laughs> um, I went on vacation. I went to Jamaica real quick. Me and Mary hit up Sweet Heat. Miami. <laughs> it was lit. Super lit. Super lit. You had fun, right? I did. It was really, really good. Um, the gala on Friday was the best part. A yeah. movie. It okay. was a movie. It was really good. <laughs> Shout out to Lena Waif. It was really dope, though. Shout out it to was, DJ Dimples. Yeah, like, everybody no, has something negative to say about Sweet Heat, but honestly... There's no lesbian event that's to that caliber. Like, yeah, honestly. It's really a good time. Of course, wherever you're going, it's going to be ratchet people. But honestly, like, <laughs> big up to her because every time I feel like a fucking celebrity I'm out, when I'm out there. Exactly. So. And it's, I mean, it's just a movie. Like, it's just, it's honestly just fun as hell. Everyone should go. I pretty much try to go every year. I didn't go last year, but I try to go every year. Everybody sweet should go. Hell. Yeah, sweet I am a hoe. <laughs> this is factual. <laughs> Um, shout out to everybody that hit me up when we were out there. We had some people come up to us and was like, okay, y'all fucking with us? We'll yeah, see that was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, let's hop right into the topic. Y'all know we was going to come back during Pride Month. Y'all already knew that was going to happen. So, in light of Pride, we're going to talk about coming out stories. Yikes. <laughs> I'm coming out. So you want to go first, or should I go first? Oh, God, you go first. I mean, mine's is short. It's cute. I'm going to make yeah. mine short. Mine's long, but I'm going to try to... Okay, all right. So, let's run it back to a nice summer in 2006. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even think I remember all of yours. How old were you? I was 16. Okay, I was 14. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so, yeah, I was 14, um... And I was at the deli, minding my black ass business, um, trying to get me a Philly cheesesteak. And my mom called me. My mom called me, and she didn't give me no warning, no nothing. She was like, "Um, you gay?" And I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. What are you talking about?" And she was like, "So who is Denise?" And I was like, uh. "My bitch." <laughs> And so during this time, this was MySpace days. And I don't know if y'all remember, but everybody had them fucking surveys on their MySpace page. And apparently I left my computer up and, um, you know, she saw my MySpace page. And the survey question asked, who was your first love? And my answer was... Denise. Social media has been getting people in trouble since the beginning of time. <laughs> Social media always gets me fucked up. That's oh. why I just, I try to stay, I try to behave, but that don't always work out. But, um, long story short, so she's like, you're gay. And, um, I was like, okay, so, couch out the bag, yes. And it went into this whole thing, like, is it a phase? Do you need therapy? Um, she failed as a parent type thing. You know, I feel like all parents kind of do that. Oh, because I like to eat pussy. You're a bad parent. You're so gay. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't see it that way. They see it as something that they did wrong. And, I mean, that's because they see being gay as being wrong. And that's that's not how that works. But, um, yeah, so it was just this whole ordeal. You know, she was like, do you need therapy? And she was pretty fucking upset. Not like in a... A hatred way she didn't disown me or anything like that but I guess she just felt like disappointed or whatever because I mean well I think parents have this idea of what they want their children to be and then when it's not like that yeah. they kind of have to mourn like oh she's gonna have a husband oh I, I gave my mom hell with this yeah. shit <laughs> so. nothing like she wanted me to be but you know it's all right um and what else so after that I guess it was just kind of like her trying to accept it like because i was 14 and so for me to be like i'm gay it was like girl you don't know what you want you're it's a phase yeah. type of thing and yeah here we are 15 years later and still gay <laughs> gay as hell <laughs> even gayer and um I, I like it wasn't that bad like eventually it took some years but we talked and i think one night it came down i was like you know don't you want me to be happy and that was just like the that's where the line drew she was like you right and she didn't give me no more shit after that but i mean going up till then it was just like i don't know it wasn't like i said she didn't disown me but it was just kind of like a 
tension between us. Yeah. Because she's, I guess, because she felt bad that I was gay. And then, you know. But at the same time, she tried to pull it like I knew. Girl. Girl. <laughs> that, I feel like that's for what, the confirmation. I feel like that's what all parents, or definitely moms, oh, I knew, I knew. Girl, you ain't know. You ain't know. Well, why didn't you say nothing? Exactly. <laughs> Why you ain't tell me? <laughs> right. And I think the biggest thing that she had an issue with uh, was me being, like, masculine. Because, yeah. you know, she's like, do you want to be a boy? And Girl. things like that. Yeah. So, I mean, luckily, like, I wasn't disowned, but it was, like, a struggle for a little bit. You, you really just got to have, like, that conversation with your parent. Like, hey, this is how I am. You know what I'm saying? You didn't how fail. How it's going to be? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't fail as a parent and you know there's nothing wrong with me being this way like it's not a wrong thing yeah so yeah Woo! Turn. mine's pretty terrible <laughs> um yeah it's pretty bad so it's kind of a lot of things in it. so it's kind of a long story so i my mom found out i was gay smoking weed and smoking cigarettes all on the same day so that's a lot that's a lot Are you <laughs> so the day it was the day before valentine's day no i think it was valentine's day and me and my two homeboys dang i forgot their names well we he used to pick me up every day before school we would smoke and get high this is high school wow we used to smoke and get high before school time. yes and so he um our yeah went to our drug dealer's house the day before school and no the day after school and he was like, look, here's all this weed. Like, I'm not going to sell drugs. He, like, gave it to us. So we were like, yeah, we're going to get it. locked up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So my homeboy, he was smoking a cigarette in the parking lot at school. <laughs> and, you know, that's a big deal in high school. So, like, the police came and they searched the car. Da, da, da. So my mom came up here. And a week prior, I had left. I had got my phone taken away at school. And you know when you get your phone taken away at school, your mom got to come get it. <laughs> so, when my mom came it up there. It was so fucking extra. You so know what's extra. mad now? Kids can have their phone in school now. I know, All out, all crazy. All crazy. I'm like privileged. No, I got. Cool sense. <laughs> so, my mom came to the school and she came to get me. She up there fussing, and, you know. Da, 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 you hanging out with these white people. This white. I'm like, Lord. So, she's like, oh, yeah, let me get her phone, too. So, she gets my phone and she asks for it. Like, we at home. She's highly upset because at this point she just like found out i'm smoking weed uh, yeah. and cigarettes so then she's like what's the password to your phone so i give it to her and she then what i was getting news at 15 so, was all getting news? News, so all them jokes just start coming in foo, foo, foo. You hella so gay. my mom was like when were you gonna tell me you were gay <laughs> and she's just distraught like she's just having it like she Oh my god. It so, was did she take your phone? Like, were you on punishment? Nigga, I got kicked out of the house. Oh, it was one of those. Yeah, I got kicked out of the house. And then I went to go stay with my sister in Norfolk for a little bit. And then when I came back, I didn't have nothing in my room but a mattress. Damn. Like, yeah, it was pretty bad. Damn. So, how long were you gone? How long were you out? Um, like a month. Damn. Yeah, it was crazy. And you were 16. I was 16. Sheesh. So, she was just like you know over it like oh my god so then y'all never had to talk about it like no we never talked ever it was and just so, like oh you gotta get the fuck out yeah i mean yeah it was it was it was i think it was just too much for her yeah it was a lot going on that day you're um, badass yeah <laughs> it was just too much for her and then it was yeah it just came all tumbling down in one day and then because i was like i'm never gonna come out until i move out when i'm 30 like i don't <laughs> know why i thought that was gonna be a real thing i mean i don't know i don't think i ever like thought about coming out it wasn't really a thing for me like yeah. i never planned it because straight people don't come out as straight yeah so i just and it, it i was just like i know i'm a little different but you know what i'm saying it's not the end of the world you like, don't say fine as shit like come on who wouldn't like women <laughs> are beautiful anyway so yeah <laughs> So it was just, it was pretty bad. Um, and then my dad kind of like put a cease to everything. He was like, all right, you tripping. Like, oh, he, was your dad just, upset about it? She didn't it talk to me. She would walk past me in the hallway. No, my dad didn't care. Yeah. Of course. Like, my dad was like, my dad, you might not be gay. You might just have gay tendencies. <laughs> my dad came up to me. He was like, yo, you a dyke? And I was like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was all we ever talked about. 
Yeah. So, yeah. And then, um, yeah, she just wasn't involved with it. She would make shady comments all the time. Like, I remember she took me to Greenbrier Mall to go school shopping, and she seen a gay dude in there. And she was like, oh, that's why you wanted to come here? Like, yes, wow. for that one gay man. Because this is so where all the gays could, gather, right? Yes, this is where we come. Um, so, yeah, that was... That was pretty terrible. Then, you know, I had a girlfriend for six years. She never tried to meet her, nothing. Um, my mom really just accepted me being gay. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, like, two years ago. I'm 27. I came out when I was 16. So, yeah, she really... So what has it been like over all these years? Like, it was just something you didn't mention? She, yeah. Or was she, she just, just like, come. salty all the whole time? Like No, I mean, I think she was definitely salty at first. And then I think she realized that it was never going to change. But she still wasn't... a uh, topic she was comfortable talking about. I feel like addressing the issue. Um, especially when I tried to dress more masculine. She hit me with the, oh, you're trying to be a boy. And then, you know, I cut all my hair off to get dreadlocks. Oh, when I cut all my hair off, my mom it. cried, yeah. my nigga. So, I hit her with a double whammy because I cut all my hair off and I got my eyebrow pierced at 18. Oh, yeah. You and she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. She wasn't having it. So, yeah. Yeah. So, how did y'all... How did y'all mend the situation? Like, what? Never, t- honestly, we never did. It wasn't until my previous relationship that she just came around, which is crazy. I mean, what, did y'all have, like, even two years ago, did y'all have a talk or she just never came? Never had a talk. She just came and was like, I'm over it. Like, this is. No, she never just said anything. She just, I think one time it was to the point where I moved in with my ex girlfriend. And I was like, look, I moved in with my ex girlfriend. Like, I want you to be able to come over and stuff like that. And then she was like, wow, no, no, no. And then I just cried and I walked out. And then I think my sister talked to her and was like, you need to get over yourself because yeah. you're not going to be at the wedding. You're not going to yeah. be anything in her life. And then she just came around. I can could, I could say one thing about my sister. She was always with the shit. She was yeah, like, so was my yeah, sister. my sister gay and, and we wear a rainbow <laughs> together. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Shout so. out to the sisters in the world. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Great allies. Um, so when did you know? Like, when did you officially Girl, know? Girl, 10, 9, 8. You was playing seven, house, nigga? You was yeah. playing good cop, bad definitely. cop? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. I think so. And, like, my sister, like, I used to kiss my sister's friends. And I remember one wow. time when she was, her sister, my older sister's friend was laying on the bed. And I, like, kissed her. And then she was like, your sister, that's right. And, like, ran and told me. Yeah. Maybe I didn't understand what was going on, but I definitely, like, knew that. Yeah. I just didn't really. But I had boyfriends and stuff. Like, oh, yeah. I had a shit ton of boyfriends. But I'm a gold star lesbian, which means I've never had sex with a guy. Hey, I'm Nigga, here. you want a fucking cookie? I'm like, sell my virginity on Same. eBay for $1.2 million. Bitch, hello? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would. I definitely would. Um, I think I noticed, or I realized I was gay. I think I was 10. And I was at my best friend's house at the time, and we were playing good cop, bad cop, and it just got real sexual. And I was like, I like this. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> like, she was all on top of me. I don't even know. I don't even know, like, what that was about, why she was all on top of me being sexual like that. But yeah, that's when I was like, okay. This I is chill. Do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. okay. And then I didn't really act on it until I was like 13. Because I was like a, a, a chat line hoe. Like, I was all on AOL yeah. chat, meeting girls, and that's when I really, like, dove into it. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I kissed, I made out with this girl. She made out with me, for real, for real. I think I was, like, maybe 14. Oh, no, I want to ask you something, because everyone thinks that if you see a, a gay couple or a lesbian couple, yeah. that's going to make you gay. Did you have any influence when you were coming up did you no, see any gay couples we never seen anything like that it was all straight shit yeah like i we, never I even never knew what anything. gay was for real like i just People knew think that like, i like girls if you see cartoons and stuff i'm like first of all them kids don't even pay attention for real, for real and second um honestly nothing if being gay or the things on tv can influence or straight kids then don't you think that gay kids would be influenced by straight things on tv correct if that you know all the straight shit i watched growing up like there correct. was nothing for me i mean the l word came out what in 2000 that was high, high school that was high school by then yeah. i was already deep you know in some pussy. Dagged out, right. so it didn't even <laughs> it didn't even matter at that point um yeah. but no i never seen i'm trying to think of anything that was on TV. i never seen a gay couple yeah i never seen anything like when i was like dealing with it like okay literally like set girls. it off with queen latifah and oh. that little that little part that, Nigga, that's i didn't I get to watch that i didn't watch that until i was in high school like oh, nice. <laughs> yeah that was probably was the, 
Queen Latifah was the most I ever But seen. that don't even count for real. I mean, okay, okay. Yeah, but she was that nigga. Yeah, yeah. Shout out she to Cleo. Was, yeah, shout out to Cleo. <laughs> Goals. Her and the brat. Yeah. But, like, I never seen the brat with anybody, but I knew she was, like, I looked up to her because I'm like, okay. And I don't she's... even think she's gay. I, do you watch, you gotta watch Grown Up Hip Hop. I do watch Grown Up Hip Hop. She had a, um, ex, I didn't even know she had an ex-husband or something. Okay. Yeah, I'm had... not buying that shit. I yeah. mean, I, I, <laughs> possibly, but I, feel, I still she think she likes women. Guy. She likes women though. Probably do. She got to. She might have a little dingling here and there, but I think she likes women. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah. I so okay. So do you think you were born this way? Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it wasn't influenced. I mean, I think it was just destined for me to like women. I don't really know how else to. Yeah. To, to say I do think that some people might be influenced. Yeah. Um, in some aspects, like oh, I'm gonna do this to get this guy's attention. I'm, gonna, you know, or just other reasons that could have happened. I think there's a lot, but to you know what used to blow me, like in high school, they'd be like, oh, they was like, oh, gay is trendy. Yeah. How nigga? There but, is nothing trendy about this shit. I don't yeah, care what not, nobody says. Like yeah. all the slack that I caught in high school, it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Sexual women. <laughs> Those are the ones that are confusing everybody. Don't, don't. Pick don't, a side. Don't side. get them started because you know. <laughs> now, let me play the bisexual anthem for you. But <laughs> Please don't play I like that. girls. I like guys. It's the worst thing that ever came out. <laughs> so when did you, I guess, so when you were in high school, did like, did you catch any slack for being gay? Like? No, so I was, like, the only dyke in my high school. Like, it was lit. Like, everybody fucked with me. They are like, man, get the bitches. <laughs> like, um, girl, like, yeah. And I had a lot of, I had a lot of straight girlfriends, so. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so, like, everybody, like. And I just. in high school, it's like, it's always at one. And then it's like, as soon as you come out, they're like, oh, I'm gay, too. Or, yeah. Oh, really? Now you gay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got a lot of. Nah, it definitely, high school was lit for me, I ain't even gonna lie. I mean, none of the teachers said anything to you, like... No, but I did get in trouble, um, it was a whole situation, because I was kissing my girl in the hallway, <laughs> and they got mad about it, and, like, told her mom, and all this extra shit, and that was, like, a whole thing, and I was like, you wouldn't do that if that was a, a sh- all these people that be kissing in the hallway. Facts. So that Facts. was, like, a huge deal, and, like, yeah. one of my teachers was pissed, she was like, I'm gonna fight for you, I have the news up here. That happened to me, too, that happened to me, too, I was in the hallway... And we were kissing, and I got in school suspension. Yeah, they were trying to suspend me too, but because my teacher threatened to like go to the news about it, they just go. To, yeah, and I of course at what? that point I couldn't go because my teacher was like because they were being discriminatory. Oh yeah. So she was like, you know, I'm you guys can't do that to her. You know, she yeah. was like young and white. You know how they yeah. are. It's like for your right. It's um, crazy how teachers talk about you though, because like a shit ton of my teachers, like I heard they were talking about me, and like if I got caught. In the hallway with a girl, I had to run extra laps at basketball practice. But everybody else has a boyfriend, and they're not running extra laps at basketball practice. He was like, "Oh, it's just no PDA. We can't. You can't be doing no PDA, nigga, yeah. nigga." But everybody else do it, but I can't. Yeah. And then like all my teachers had something to say. Like it was, I was a freshman. And, you know, I thought I was popping. I was Dana Senior. Okay. <laughs> and fucking... Pussy. She used to walk me to class, and my teacher would be like, what, what's this? What's this? We need to talk. We need to talk. And, I mean, I always dodged it. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are we going to talk about? Like, I'm nah. your business. And then my PE teacher came to me, and she's like, um, I see who you're hanging with, and, you know, I want you to really think about what you're doing. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm good. And, right. and she was like, you know, I know you're young and you're trying to figure things out. And I'm like, first of all... It doesn't matter, though. First of all, this is a TPE teacher I don't even fucking like. Like, girl, leave me alone. <laughs> like, please. Like, I just feel like there's a line. Yeah. As a teacher and student relationship, don't cross it. Okay? Well, listen, I got kissed. <laughs> Let me tell you how late high school was. Definitely kissed my gym teacher. Wait, she was, I swear to God on everything Good I love. I'll here. put this on everything. My gym teacher was giving me totally she was clearly a dyke like she was she was her name was her damn i probably should have said that but look damn. so she I mean, was well, first wait wait hold on this is this is um this is high school so and she was a teacher she was the gym teacher yeah she was my gym teacher so we would like Nigga. me and my um me and my two friends we were always like 
We will always mess with her. Like, she claims she's gay. So I came up to her one day. I was like, you watched the L-word last night? And she just <laughs> busted out laughing. She just shook her head and walked away. And then, like, I would... <laughs> My friends were going all gay on us. You know what I mean? But, yeah, two yeah. years ago, I seen her at Red Dogs. Did you speak? Yeah. She was like, oh my God. Hey, girl. Yeah, you remember our kids? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's awkward. Yeah, and her and and my old principal are together now. Lesbians. Isn't that crazy? That's funny as fuck. (laughs) Yeah, isn't that hilarious? That's funny. That's fucking funny. Um, Okay, so let's jump into being openly gay at work. Do your coworkers know? Like, are you... You know. I mean, I just started with the new company. Um, I, I mean, just in the past, like in general. Oh, like, do yeah, people... of course. I mean, especially when I was like working in retail. And of course, that was nothing. Everybody, honestly, when I was managing the Hot Topic, um, everybody on my my management staff was gay. So. Oh well, that works. Yeah. One happy family. Yeah. yeah. Um. So of course that doesn't. But it's a alternative, like, store. It's a different world. Yeah. When I think I got into, like, what did they say? Did your last job know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, okay, so you just talked about it. They were super invested into my relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, nigga, everybody was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, let me see pictures. Um, yeah, they didn't care. Okay, so you don't care. So you just let niggas know. Or, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, know. obviously, but, I think like, they know what's you up. openly talk about it. Like, they um, well, okay, so I guess a client had, was like, it's Mary Gay. And they were like, hi, oh, we don't know. And then... I think I just was like, I think they asked me, like, what'd you do this weekend? I'm not gonna lie, like, me and my girlfriend went out. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So, it, just like that, like. Yeah, yeah, just kind regular, of. like, conversation shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I, I like to have fun. <laughs> so, each job, well, I'm saying it's like I got a lot of jobs, but um, I just make up a story. Like, I got two kids, I have two daughters, my baby daddy ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep them guessing because I don't really like telling my business. I mean, cause, and it's just funny to me because obviously I'm masculine presenting. And so when I be like, yo, this nigga ain't shit. Like, he got me fucked up. It's just kind of funny to them. They're like, oh, you have a boyfriend. Oh, you have children. I'm like, yeah. Why, like, why you wouldn't you think so? Right. Because I have boxers, man. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm not open about it at work just because I'm just a private person. Like, I don't feel like it would be an issue at either one of my jobs, but... It was an issue at, when I'm counseling the kids one time. So like, oh yeah, yeah. when I got yeah, when I got that uh, girl client, uh, she was like 17. She was dealing with like her grandma. I guess she was like coming out, and her grandma was not having it. Mm. Um, and so how old was she? I think she was 16 when I got her. Oh, so yeah. you know, I remember walking the house, and she was like, oh, like. Oh my god, my counselor's a dyke and like mm-hmm. grandma was not here for it. Eventually she warmed up to me and she like um she liked me a lot, but yeah. at first she was not here for it at all. She was not here for it, so she made a complaint. Oh yeah, because they they made a complaint. Made and a complaint. what did your what did your management say? They were like, We're gonna fight, that's not fair. You cannot request a different counselor based off Oh, sexuality, sexuality yeah. things like that. Um right. and then yesterday is so funny because my new kids was like <laughs> He was like, um, so, like, are you a tall boy? And I was like, why are you asking me that? And he was like, I'm just saying, like, you like to, like, wear boxers. And I was like, because I think my pants must have been sagging or something. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, yeah. And he was like, oh, okay. And then his brother was like, she a dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait, pause. Because I canceled the both. I canceled bro- brothers. How old like, are they? One's 10. The one who asked me is 10. The other one's 15. Oh, okay. Who said the word dyke? The gay one. Uh, which one? The 15? 15, 15, yeah. Uh, you're not supposed and to say he, that. Yeah, and then he came out to me a little bit later on that day. I think he was trying to Was ask, it obvious that he was gay, though? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, to me, yeah. I think he was just... Or figuring himself out. Do you ever feel like you were discriminated against because of that? Mm. No, but sometimes people, like, say funny shit. I think, like, I remember I went yeah. to this party and it was like packed it was for college i think it was like the q party or something and the shorty <gasps> shorts yeah the shorty shorts <laughs> you know what's scary um that's how they <laughs> fucking do you be buying your black ass business and here go for so it was cute. like a line for men and a line for women 
and um, it was like four of us waiting, four dykes waiting. They was like, um, no, they. <laughs> It was like, no, nah, they gotta pay the eighty, bro. Because <laughs> men had to pay eighty. It was because oh, you know it's a crazy party, and it was like yeah. forty for us. They was like, no, nah, they gotta pay the eighty. Nah, like they be trying like that. that though. Yeah, they do be trying. Yeah, they be trying that. like that. I think most importantly, you really see that shit at the club. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No, like, I know I wasn't about to get in this junk in D.C. And then they was like, because I was with all them bitches, and they was like, oh, you with them? And I was like, yeah, if I can't get in, they can't get in. He's like, all right, come on, come on. Yeah. Like, if I'm not getting in, you're not getting in. Um, I think, okay, so when I was in college, I was looking for a job, and I went on, like, four interviews, and I did this little experiment. I said, I'm going to go on two interviews dressing feminine, and I'm going to dress in masculine. I don't think it's coincidental that each job that I went on an interview as masculine, I didn't get a call back. But the jobs I went as feminine, I did. Damn. And I'm like, I know that's some fucking bullshit because one, I, I'm an excellent interviewer, my nigga. Like, yeah. So, Same. yeah, and I thought that was interesting. And at one job, they just always came to me like, pull your pants up. I don't sag, so what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just saying slick shit about like me being masculine and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I definitely experienced it a little bit. And, I mean, walking down the fucking street, like, you know, guys say shit like, oh, you need to tighten up, or, oh, you know what I'm saying, you a dyke, da 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 it's, Especially in D.C. Niggas don't know what the fuck they say out there, bro. So. See, I've never had a bad experience with dudes in D.C. If anything, they always buy me drinks. <laughs> like, they're, I all, they were like, yo, I like your sweat. Hey, drink, get a drink for her. No, yeah. actually, one time here, when I was going to North State, um... I went to the Hardee's. You know that Hardee's that's up on campus, though? Mm -hmm. Right there. Anyway, so I'm going to Hardee's. Them cinnamon raisin biscuits used to slap. So I'm in there, and these two men, they just kept saying, oh, you need to tighten up. You need to tighten up. And I'm like, I'm just trying to get a fucking biscuit. <laughs> you know, and I was, just, I was just trying to, like, ignore it. And, like, they kind of, like, when I once I got my food and went to go get a straw for my drink, they were like standing next to me and it was like, what the fuck your problem is? Why are you dressing like, that, dressing like that or whatever? Mind you, I don't know who these people are. And I was like, excuse me. And like, I just rushed out of there and it was like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's crazy. And I'm just like, I, all I was trying to do was get a biscuit, my nigga. Like, <laughs> get a biscuit and some boxes. So, yeah, yeah. No, I've never experienced anything like that. It's for real. Because yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Men don't really say nothing to me in person. Yeah. I mean, on Twitter. But, I mean, like, I think of anything, like, I always have issues with niggas. Like, even at work, like, when I was working in D.C. at the airport, like, this dude just kind of went out of his way to be like, oh, Lex, we're going to bag some bitches tonight. Or, like, if it was a cute girl, you'd be like, oh, Lex, you see that? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, relax. Like, I'm not even that type of dyke. Like, yeah. I'm low-key. Like, why every time you, you trying to, like, put me on blast? You know what I'm saying? Cause at, you think that's what he was doing? I mean, yeah, that's what, I, I mean, it's nobody's business that I like women, like, oh, well, he probably I'm at work, minding yeah. my black ass business, and like, you know what I'm saying, like, you keep, and he was loud with it, and I'm like, you keep saying shit, like, relax, and it's like, we all wore uniforms, so it's not like you could tell for real, I mean, you could tell, but it's not like, for real, yeah. you know what I mean, so yeah, um, what we got next, let's see, Oh, have you ever had doubts about it? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you never no. wanted to try to, no. like, date a guy? No. I always make jokes, like, what would it be like? Probably be less argumentative, but... Yeah. Like, I feel like it would be like, like he'd be like, all right, man, go chill out. You know, it's different when it's two women. It's very emotional. It's very, like, high. Like, two women just... It's extra. Ooh, it's, it's so a extra. Lot. It's, it's a lot. lot. But, like, <laughs> no, not sexually. Maybe just relationship-wise. I think, like, I was like, you know, what would it be like to have someone not give a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it would be just your luck that you date a guy and he'd be, like, a Drake-ass nigga, like, Hell emotional yeah. as fuck. Exactly. <laughs> like, that's exactly what I would attract, so, yeah. you know. Um, I know. Nah, I never thought about it, like, not even halfway. No, nah. not even almost. Cause, but I'm like super gay like there's not really men in my life for real like yeah, not I don't have it I have like one life. token guy friend and like maybe a gay guy friend and that's it so I don't really have men around to think about it right. <laughs> like I'm not tempted at all but if I see a guy and he looks nice oh he's cute you know well, yeah. oh absolutely yeah. yeah you gotta get props and props too right even if like I love beautiful men I'll even tell a nigga like oh you look the fuck good like you, you know what I'm saying good you look good alright <laughs> that's about it yeah yeah 
Um, and how you feel about like PDA? Like being out and about in the mall. I don't shit. I mean honestly I don't care for PDA, but it don't have nothing to do with sexuality. I just mm-hmm. not like I'm just not a big PDA person. Yeah. Um I definitely hold your hand. If I'm drunk it's a different story. <laughs> oh yeah, we know. Like mm-hmm. if I'm drunk, it's lit. I don't care who Ooh. around. Let's like, be married. <laughs> yeah, let's get married. I'm ready to get married. Like <laughs> never catch me when I'm drunk. But yeah, yeah um otherwise and I'm not just not big on PDA. Like, yeah. yeah, um, I'm not either. It's not really my thing. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's levels. Like, you know, hugging, holding hands is chill. But I'm not about to like tongue you down in the line at Wendy's because right. you know people like to do that shit. And I just be like, y'all niggas can't wait till y'all get to the car or nothing. Like, that shit blew me. Like when I used to work at um fucking Taco Bell in the mall. Yeah, it was. Oh, White people love Taco Bell, okay? They would be there at 10 o'clock in the fucking okay. morning. Ready. Chalupa. <laughs> and it was always this couple, I guess they worked in the mall, and they'll be tugging each other down in the line. And I'm like, in the fucking food court. It's like, disgusting. can y'all relax, please? Just go away with that. Yeah, so, I mean, PDA is okay, but I don't know. It's not my, my cup of tea. Yeah, I just don't do too much of it. Not because of, like, being discriminated against, because I don't give a fuck, especially at this point. Maybe when I was younger... What about when you were younger? Nope. I was probably more... <laughs> Yo, gay ass. Yeah. Nah, I just never cared. I really don't care. Yeah. The only pre- person I respect PDA in front of is, like, if I'm in somebody's house. Or, like, a really older person. Like, my mom. I would never show PDA in front of my mom. Oh, yeah. Like, that's awkward that's showing it in front of my mom. Um, like, I'd be, I be, like, trying to hold bitches' pinkies in front of my mom. Yeah. It's weird. Like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. And you know my mom's chill, but it's just, like, I can't do that. I yeah, you, and your mom's chill, nah. I so, I just want to show PDA in front of, like, maybe an older person I respect. Especially if I'm in their space. Yeah, yeah. And I would do... I honestly believe I would do that if I was straight. Just True. because it's just, it's just a level of, like... Oh my straight or gay kids making out with their boyfriends in front of me. Yeah. Or girlfriends. So. Yeah. Um, have you ever felt like when you first came out, were you uncomfortable about it? Like I don't know, I was relieved. I was relieved, <laughs> honestly. I was like, Oh my god, thank God. I don't know how old this is thirty? <laughs> Yo, you was bugging because you're not bugging. even thirty yet, my nigga. Like just imagine all that time. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was so stupid. No, I was relieved for real, for real. I was yeah. really relieved. I was happy. Because um, then I felt like once that was out, I could dress masculine. It's really hard to dress masculine before coming out. <laughs> Facts. You know well, no, I mean? the, you remember that era when, you, the, like, I guess maybe it was when Sierra came out, but everybody was wearing, like, the tight shirts with the baggy jeans. Yeah. Yeah, that was my shit. That was my shit. I had some fucking red monkeys. You remember red monkeys? <laughs> I'm a red monkey junkie. <laughs> I had Ivisu, my nigga. Schmack. Oh, yeah. Schmack. Schmack was oh, my I'm shit. I'm about to get on eBay tonight. Couldn't tell me shit, okay? Definitely. I have eBay tonight. As soon as I got my first check from Taco Bell. What? Oh, I had all the Schmack junks from my check off Subway. Bitch, what? $140 what? pair of jeans, okay. okay? It was nothing. <laughs> Shirts. What's up? Schmack was lit. I miss. I would wear Schmack now, honestly. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm getting on eBay tonight. <laughs> like, like, no bullshit. For real. But, yeah, it was. It was kind of hard being masculine and not being out. Especially when you're not buying your own clothes. So. Yeah, so I felt like it was just like a relief. Like, oh, God, thank God. I just <laughs> be myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we gonna wrap it up? We gonna wrap it up. That's only for this else. first episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bet. So, yeah, y'all, um, that was our first episode um, we're going to be on SoundCloud, iTunes, and I'm going to see what Spotify is talking about. Oh, yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. We're branching to Spotify. You know, we're doing this podcast thing because, you know, we got feedback. We're trying to give y'all visual. We're trying to give y'all audio. You feel me? So, yeah. Um, fuck with us on Sh- at She Her Dyke, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and we'll be here every Monday. Yes. You know, uh, hit us up. Okay. Let us know if y'all got any topics y'all want to talk about. Or if y'all just want to show love, we're here. Um, I'm at Peace, Love, and Lex. I am at... Wow, you don't know your at handle, my nigga. I was just thinking about... Tweet Suave. Tweet Suave on Twitter. Twitter. We can do Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, that's easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tweet Suave. Hit me up up there. And then you can go on my bio. Find my IG. 
back. So <laughs> oh, I got a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So all right, y'all. Fuck with us. See y'all next week. All right. Bye. Ooh, 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 ooh.